<laughs> there we go. I'm guessing that the uh, the tanks are really shutting up these Panzer Grenadiers for once. Now let's see whether or not we can advance now that we have a nice basis of fire. And I'm gonna guess uh, most likely all of the uh, Panzer Grenadiers inside that little group there. Nicely suppressed and all. Oh yeah, yes. they also had a few people inside the building as well. Oh, they're all gone now, I guess. Alright, so hopefully once this uh, Churchill gets into this tiny orchard area, hopefully it'll be provide some support, but I'm probably not betting on it that uh, it'll have range there. It'd be really nice if they had some sort of like line of sight tool where you can actually measure ah damn it, put a mortar round right into our guys. Uh, but as I was saying, it'd be really nice if they had a, some sort of direct way to check line of sight for your units. It'd be especially useful near buildings in general, these uh, these areas right here. Now let's see, our tank's getting pretty close to the yeah, to the inward boundaries of the orchard. So once it shows up here, hopefully the tree trunks or you know tree leaves won't block it here, and it can then yeah there we go now it can shoot at those guys right there. So they'll do their job. I'm not uh, too keen into going into this uh, forchard area or this yeah yeah this forested orchard areas just right now. So I might actually just accept their truce because yeah that's pretty formidable forested area, especially for tanks. So we'll wait until this Churchill puts down, I'd say, like two shots into that group of uh, densely packed enemy infantry, and that should be the end of them. Yeah, let's see, these people should just make a run for it, really. There we go. And then <laughs> the entire area over there just becomes oddly quiet. Right, so that's really, really good. Let's see whether or not we can uh, move forwards a little bit more here inside this area. Speaking of which, right now we might actually be able to get our uh, troops over here to make a run for these hedgerows. If they can, we might be able to get into this uh, forested area right now. Oh, looks like there's still a few remnants. 
on that hit drill. Oh well, we can we can suppress him and finish him off. Tank fire. And I think that'll be uh, it for this battle right here. I think a lot of our troops are pretty damn exhausted right now. And overall, I think we've contested this orchard area enough so that next battle, this will be a neutral no man's land zone so nobody can deploy inside it. And with that said, that should uh, hopefully really hold up some of those guys. I think this is probably going to be a mortar team, but just to save our troops and, of course, to give us a uh, victory position later on, I think we'll just end off the battle right here. So, there we go. Let's see. We took, uh, we took right around, yeah, very light losses compared to where the trip, what the, uh, the axis took. And overall, that'll finish off yet another battle, and that'll leave us with, uh, of course, two more. The battle inside this town now, with Churchill's going up against an HQ unit. So, with that said, that should be... Uh, actually, it's Ursat's uh, substitute infantry, so this should be uh, a much easier fight compared to the regular Panzer Grenadiers we've seen over here, and, of course, in the other battlefields. And in addition, I think we'll see a, a tank rubble over here in Skyline very soon. But anyhow, that is uh, later on. I think we'll just save, make a save right now, take a bit of a break. And when we uh, continue off next time, we will uh, yeah, fight these two battles right here. So I'll see you guys then.